Okay, welcome to another episode of an Aussie Mathalene's motorbike. This episode is going to be on my GoPro setup and how it fits to a Shoei GT Air and as well as microphone choices, which I hope you guys will comment below and give me a suggestion. Um, as you can see, I'm on my kitchen bench again and I've had another scotch party with... God damn, that is the worst scotch I've ever tried. Not the worst, but the most overhyped piece of shit ever. Uh, this is better. That's pretty awesome. And oh, I have a habit of leaving my uh, utensils around and uh, crap, I've left my gun out again. How do I keep leaving this around? Oh well, I'll leave it there for now. So anyway, so my GoPro setup is fairly simple. It is, well, by the way, my helmet. It's a Shoei GT Air. Shoei GT Air cog. Bit of a graphical overview. Yeah, it's fitted with a normal GoPro uh, curve mount, though it is a eBay special. Picked up six of them for like two bucks from some Asian country. Um, Double-sided tape on, and because my, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the uh, there's actually a uh, curve into the helmet, and so it doesn't actually sit flush. So I've stuck put the uh, double-sided tape as best I could, and had to stick some more down the side there to make it flush or to make it have more surface area to make it stick so then I had to order some straight GoPro fittings to make that fit took a bit of jiggery pokery to get the right setup then for the actual camera itself or for the uh, housing I got a microphone adapter ready one so the microphone cutout I had to modify because it doesn't actually fit for the uh, GoPro in there. So I had to modify it because it's such a uh, bit of a fat plug. And by the way, the GoPro, uh, the eBay special uh, does not work because it's a five pin and GoPro uses a 10 pin plug. And inside there's apparently a resistor which makes the microphone actually work, whereas this don't work for the microphone. So yeah, so that's how I fitted it. Um, just move that down there. So that's the so that's the microphone adapter cable. So it's a genuine GoPro item because that's the only one that actually works. So that runs down in here, and this is the actual microphone cable which I just uh, shortened and taped up, zip tied to the thing. Um, instead of using the GoPro uh, twisty clamp uh, screws. I just bought some Phillips heads and they just go into the uh, already uh, the already put in nuts on the back. So I only use the genuine GoPro right angle mount just so that will obviously go in. Uh, so I only used uh, one, two, three straight bits, one short, two long. And so the cable runs, for the microphone runs down under, under there, underneath the helmet, through there. Do some holding strange. Move it under there, and you can just see the mic just there. So I just run it up there. I kind of like just use a, a twist tie to mount to the emergency release for the cheek pad and stuck in the microphone with a bit of double sided tape. And you should be able to just see if I get my head out of the light the microphone that sits right there. It's a bit loose at the moment, and just need to find a better way of getting it stuck in there. So yeah, that's my GoPro setup. And I'm actually in the market for a new helmet. I'm not a new helmet. I'm actually in the market for a new microphone because the microphone does not seem to pick up audio as good as I heard some other motor vloggers doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed that bit of a a bit of an insight into how things are done and if you've got a Shoei GT Air this is probably the better way of mounting or having a chin mount I'm gonna go put my gun back and uh, I'll see you guys next time I better put that in my pocket that'll do pocket I'm also having ant problems see this little fucker in there I know where you're coming from now. You're gonna die. You are going to die. That's a fucking.
fucking gonna die. Yeah. Oh, look, there's another one there. Fuck you. There's a little fucker. Yeah, instant, instant kill. 